All right, hey guys, Godzilla from Hell here with something a little bit different. Um, this is hopefully going to be the intro slash episode one of a new series I want to start on my channel. Now, don't worry, um, Pokemon's still going to be there, but what I want to start doing is branching out doing different things, and an idea that I got from watching you know, YouTube channels is difficult games. They're fun to watch people try and fail miserably at them. I learned that, and what I want to do is try and incorporate that kind of idea into a series I want to do. Uh, every month or week, I will be t taking a really challenging game such as the original Ghosts and Goblins. And this is on the... Um, it's not on an NES. Um, I have an NES, but the um, the board that reads the games, I can't remember what it's called. Um, basically, it wore out. It's old. Um, so I'm using a 3-in-1 system that I bought for like 20 bucks. It works! It's Pretty good. Uh, so it's not an emulator. I'm using an official Nintendo controller model number NES-004 made in Japan. Um, all all are authentic, and this game's gonna kick my ass. Trust me. I know it firsthand. Um, but I'm gonna take other games and try and really get my ass kicked in gaming. It's a lot of fun doing that. Um, but this is gonna be episode one. So let's get going. Alright, so for those that haven't played this game, it's a 1986 release for the NES. It is one of the hardest games I've ever played. If, nah, not the hardest game. But it's damn close. It is damn close to being the hardest game I've ever played. Uh, never beaten it. Never beaten it. I didn't, I didn't, honestly, I didn't play it in 1986. I was negative four in 1986. But I played it a couple years ago. Um, I never had this as a kid. I'd have been way too young to get this game, even when I was gaming. But it is very... I know this is backwards, but most of you guys probably are too young to have played this game when it was first out. I was too young to play this game when it was first out. It's very much like Dark Souls. You got your demons. Ah, shit. Oh my god, I've not died on him yet. Fucking demon. Uh, yeah, they put an enemy like that around the first level. They're not, they don't care. Uh, it's like the Black Knights in, uh, Dark Souls. Like, you, oh, look at this giant! I'm dead. Yeah, it's, it's very similar to that. Um, so if you've never played an NES game, they can either be the most torturous thing you'll ever do in your, oh, damn it, you died. Uh, torturous thing you'll ever do in your life, or they'll only make you want to kill yourself most of the time. Uh, there's a reason they call games NES hard, and that's because the NES was known as a merciless gaming system. Uh, this was back when Nintendo had balls. I'm just gonna flat out say it. Nintendo had some balls with some of the games they released. This game, in particular, is absolutely horrifying. I mean, you can just see, this is level one. This is not like hard mode. There's no hard mode. This is level one. I'm gonna try and kill this... Nope. Should've jumped backwards. Should've jumped backwards. And it's great because if you die, whose fault is it? It's your fault. That's the secret. If you fuck up, you fuck up. It's great. I love games like this. Um, this is... The, one of the main reasons I'm doing this now, or recording this now, is I just finished getting... Damn it, I was out of fireballs. This is one reason I hate the fire upgrade. Because they, they linger if they hit the ground, and it means you can't use them. Um, but one reason I'm doing this right now, or recording this now, is I just got my 1,000 points uh, achievements. I have it on. Okay, that was weird. Um, <laughs> just got my 1,000 points in Dark Souls. And the annoying thing is I recorded this earlier. I got to level 1.5 without dying. Not, again, not dying, I didn't even get touched. I was like, god damn it, now I can't even get past the first fucking screen. Yeah, I got to the um, the blue towery thing without dying, without getting hit. Yeah, life sucks. But yeah, this game actually has a um, spiritual successor on the uh, PS2 in the Maximo games. Both those games are really fun. Uh, the second one, Army of Zin, is oh my god. More playable, but it's, uh, it's a little too short in my opinion. It's only, it's only took me like three hours to beat. Uh, but I will be bringing you guys more difficult games. I'm not saying there's games more difficult than this. I'm just saying more games that are difficult. Um, 
such as... Oh, Jesus! Fireballs! I hate these things. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Ah, fucking, I might as well show it. Whee! <laughs> Turns into a frog. I've never seen that before. I saw it three times yesterday when I was just testing this game out. Um, but the the collection of games I have is it's not bad. It has a, quite a few really tough games in it. Um, and I really would like to bring that out and try and cry. Or try not to cry. Yeah, I think I, uh, I'm trying to still come up with a, a title for the series. It's, um... I want it to be something that represents how difficult these games are and how they'll break you. But I can't quite think of a good title. I'm thinking games to break your sanity. Something along the lines of that. Because that's what this game does. I mean, this is the definition of insanity. Oh, God, I didn't think they'd go for the gravestones. Why am I so stupid all of a sudden? See, this is taunting. I wish that upgraded your armor. I think in the, um... The SNES version actually does. Yes, got him. That's how you fight him. That is how you fight the demon. Um, funny thing is, that demon actually got his own series of games. And they're actually really not bad. They're made by Capcom, apparently. Uh, I've never played them, but I heard they're um, pretty decent. Oh, damn it, I thought I was okay. But, here's the fun thing. Look where I start. Fuck yeah. I'm over the water. Over the water. Alright. Damn it! I couldn't get away from that one. That was just me being an idiot, not judging the distances, right? Okay, that was good. Yeah, these plants aren't too tough. As soon as I say that, I get the like. <laughs> I get the army ranger. Oh, sweet tits! Thank you. Oh god, that was just douchey. Why would you sp <sighs> Oh, like I said, test your sanity. That's the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. Yeah, that's insanity. This game is insanity. Alright then. So tough games that I actually do own. I own or should say, tough games that I've actually owned and beaten. I have beaten the original Ninja Gaiden uh, on the NES. I don't own it, I had it on the Xbox. When I you get far enough into the original Ninja Gaiden on the Xbox. Um, oh, that was just a big... Oh, God! It was just like triple middle fingers. Like, there was three middle fingers. If you can figure that out, that was three middle fingers. Um, back to what I was saying before I got, you know... Mm-hmm, yeah. The... Original Ninja Gaiden on Xbox, that's what I was going for. Um, once you got far enough into it, you collected enough stuff, you actually were able, un we were able to unlock the original Ninja Gaidens for the NES on some kind of, like, in-game thing. And it was really, really hard. They were really tough games. I ended up beating the first one, and I think I beat most of the second one. I never beat the third one. The third one is apparently the hardest. Ah, shit. So that made me a little bit happy to be able to beat that game. But... No, I hate fire. Damn it, I'm thinking... Ah, it was hard. I was trying to kill those without, avoiding, without uh, collecting the fireball. At least I've got knives. Knives are pretty good. They're really, really quick. Oh, you can go like a thousand at a time. It's crazy. Like, just watch. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, cool. But yeah, I've got the original... Uh, I had Ninja Gaiden on the Xbox. I sold it years ago for some reason. Uh, but I have Ninja Gaiden 2 at a friend's house. Uh, he'll be giving me that eventually. Uh, I'll plan on playing that. I will be ordering a copy of Ninja Gaiden Black for the Xbox, and hopefully I'll try and play it on the Xbox and not just like on the 360, uh, because I do have my original Xbox still all good and hooked up, and he has my Halo co controller, which, again, I need, to, I need to get it from him, but 
That's just the way the world works. People steal your Halo controllers all the time. Okay. Oh god! I've only seen you get a fireball once. But that's the first boss, kind of. Not really. Um. Alright, well, that's the first episode. Thanks for watching. I didn't cry this time. Hopefully we can continue that. Uh, as you see, my top score is pretty good. Uh, you see, 1986. Brutal game. Brutal, brutal game. Alright, so. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy these kind of videos. And peace out.